So, hi friends. Today I am going to show the demo of uh, how to create authorization server and how to use that access token of authorization server in, in our previous demo. So, first thing is what is authorization server according to what to that work. Authorization server is a server issuing the access token to the client after successfully authenticating the resource owner and obtaining the authorization. So now I'm going to create new Spring Startup project. I'm going to name it as Spring hyphen Cloud hyphen Security hyphen Auth server. So I'm going to click next. I need Spring Auth to Cloud Security and Web Component and click finish so to create authentication server we need to do two things one is we have to uh, add at the rate enable authentication server to our uh, spring boot main application and then we have to add the uh, what the uh, client details in the application dot property file like client id client secret and authorized grant type and the scopes so now i'm going to my main application going to add at the rate enable authorization server so now we have to add the properties first is I want to add the server port 9000 then the context I want to add the context path path equal to service so I want to add some default user so I am adding security dot user dot name Roles are the list uh, list of the roles, list values, so, but I am giving only one value for now. Now I am going to add what detail. Spring dot what two dot line dot client ID. Sorry, security. It's not spring. Security dot auth two dot line dot client ID. It should be client ID should be unique for each application. So I'm giving spring dot upper one two three. Similarly, client secret. I'm giving secret is test uh, authority type uh, grant types authorized grant types it's a list of values so I'm giving password uh, it, different types of uh, grant types are password client credential comma authorization code and then refresh scroll refresh token we have I have listed four types of grant types and the last one is uh, scopes this is also list of values now I am giving the scope as read comma write scope now I am done so I am going to start my application
application is started if we see here the application is in, uh, previously when we are using Spring security it was giving the username default username and default password default password was given and the user is uh, uh, default user is user now here instead of that we are getting client id and secret and secret is masked so when you use this uh, authorization server by default we will get the endpoints to get the token and validating the token all those things so we have uh, different types of endpoints like what slash authorize to authorize uh, this is for authorization endpoint what slash token for token endpoint what slash confirm access is for user post approval for grant grants error what slash error is for uh, error uh, rendering the error what slash check token is uh, to ch uh, check the talk decode the token when you are using JWT so like that we have different types of endpoints are there now I am going to use only what slash token because I want to generate the token so I am going to postman I'm going to hit localhost 9000 slash service slash what slash token so authorization is a basic auth and it's a post endpoint so we are going to use spring developer uh, so it's a spring developer and the uh, password is test update the request and coming to body I'm going to uh, use x hyphen ww form url encoder so here I have to provide the grant type Uh, I'm going to use password grant and client ID. Similarly, username password. unsupported grant type of so here it is comma and stuff dot so I'm going to restart the application so I have to save So now application is started. I'm going to hit the endpoint. Yeah, now we have seen we got uh, access token. Token type is beta, and we got also refresh token. The token expire, we can pass this refresh token and get the new token. And this token is valid for uh, this many seconds. And the scopes, we got both the scopes read and write. So if I use some invalid password, we'll get bad credentials. So instead of storing these uh, credentials in the property file, I am going to take it to the application. So I am going to comment this code, lines of code. I am going to create a new configuration class. Security config, I am going to name it as security config. It's a configuration class, so we need to add the delete configuration. Adding corresponding import statement. So, so I'm going to extend global authentication uh, configure adapter. So it is having the two methods like init and configure. Using init method, I am going to give the uh, user credentials. I am going. We have different type of uh, uh, authentication builders are there. I am going to use in memory authentication manager. So I am going to use init method. Public. 
empty void so i'm going to use the authentication manager builder dot in memory authentication we have different types of authentications like jdbc in memory and the other things are there but i'm using uh, only in memory so i'm going to define the users here with user username only password is password and we have to give the rules so i'm going to add them another user so i'm using and dot with user then uh, password i'm giving pass one for ben i'm giving two roles like user and admin So in our application now we have added two users, Alan and Ben. So I am going to restart my application and test this. Postman and hit. because the password is wrong so it it is working fine if i go to ben so yeah, it's working perfect so now i am getting this access token so i can use this access token in my previous example of uh, uh, spring authentication resource server so to use that i need one more uh, thing like we need to give the user endpoint uh, to get the user details in the resource server so i'm going to add that thing so for that i need uh, at the right enable resource server adding the input statement so we have to give the request mapping slash so i'm going to add rest control to work this uh, user and point so i'm going to restart so now i'm coming to my previous example spring bit uh, uh, resource server If you see here, we have used that uh, user info URI. So now I am going to comment this. I am going to use this uh, our authentication server user endpoint. It is HTTP V colon slash slash local host colon nine thousand slash service. slash user so save this and restart this application so 
So this application is started. I'm coming to going to Postman and going to hit the endpoint. Localhost. It was running in uh, 800 resource account. We have to add the header, authorization header. The token is bearer token. Token value, I'll use this token. Okay, okay, maybe token is expired. I'll regenerate the token. So I got this token. Yes, now we are able to retrieve the data. So it was working fine. So instead of uh, grant type uh, password, I want to just try the client credentials. So it gives me default password here. If you see, we are getting token type, refresh token, expire scope, everything. But if I use uh, client credentials, I will get default token. Client credential. So I need to give uh, client ID and client secret. Client secret is test. See, I got the default token. I will test this with our demo application. So this is working fine. But it, uh, client credential we should not use in production application. Just for testing, we can use. Uh, thank you.